Yo, you know, we're here chilling, you know, in the crib with Mila. I mean, you know, saying. Welcome back to our channel, La Vida con Mila. I'm your host, Checo. And I'm Danielle. And this yeah. is the beautiful baby, Mila. Yes. <laughs> today, <laughs> today, we're going to be doing part two of homemade baby food. And we're gonna be doing vegetable purees. So I divided it. It's a, it's a two parts because I do vegetables different than I do her fruit purees. And we're gonna be doing sweet potato and carrot, which is a go-to classic when it comes to baby food. Babies love it because it's sweet and delicious and it's packed with tons of vitamins, nutrients that they that are good for them. It's also a good recipe to sneak in some veggies, some other veggies. Like today, we're gonna be throwing in some spinach a little bit. A lot of green. <laughs> but other than that, just a quick disclaimer before we get into it. This is how I make baby food. There are tons of ways that you can make baby food. And two, before you make any changes to your baby's diet, please make sure to consult your pediatrician. All right guys, so let's get into it. So for this recipe, you're only gonna need a couple things. That is sweet potato, carrots, and I'm gonna be adding a handful of spinach. You can add kale or anything like that if that's what you want. You're also gonna need your baby food storage containers. I use a glass container for her veggies because what I like to do is I like to fill them up to maybe the two ounce mark about here. And then I'll stir in one of her servings of fruit purees into this because she tends to like the sweeter um, combinations. You will also need a vegetable steamer because what I like to do with her vegetables is I like to steam them. So either you can make a makeshift vegetable steamer like I have back there that I'll show you in a minute or an actual vegetable steamer. If you don't have that, you can go ahead and boil them but ideally you want to steam, bake, or roast when it comes to making baby food because you want minimal loss of nutrients. But other than that, that's it. So I'm gonna start um, by adding some water into my makeshift vegetable steamer. I didn't have one, but I had a metal colander that fit exactly into a pot. So I used that. And then I just fill up with water add enough water that it'll give you enough to completely steam but i don't want the vegetables sitting in the water Yeah, now that everything is steamed and all of your veggies are nice and soft, I'm going to start blending. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw everything in here. This time I'm gonna be using breast milk to mix it all. You can use breast milk, you can use formula, or uh, water. And let's start blending. So 
So once you've blended it all up and you've put it in your storage containers, whether it be glass containers, silicone containers, whatever you prefer, it'll look like so. It's definitely a thicker consistency. This is a stage two baby food because it is thicker and you have a combination of two vegetables. If you wanna do a stage one, you can do each vegetable individually and just add more liquid to make it a thinner consistency. In addition, once you store it, these came with like a label. So just make sure always to label your baby food with your date and what's in it, just to make sure that you don't get confused and that you know when you made it. After this, you can put it in the freezer and store up to four months or in the fridge for two days. This pairs very well with the apple cinnamon from the first video, which I will link down below. It really gives you a, like a Thanksgiving vibe, like with the sweet potatoes, the carrots, the cinnamon, the apple. It's like really warm and delicious. I need to out. <laughs> so that's it everybody for part two of homemade baby food for vegetable purees. Uh, make sure to tune in next week for more content. All right, guys, just remember to like, share, and subscribe. And we will be putting our Instagram handle in the Instagram in the in the description below, along with the link to all the things that I use to make homemade baby food. All right, guys, see you guys next week. Bye.